Hey guys, what's going on? It's your favorite mortgage lender, Abdel Kwame. Want to take a second here and explain to some of you clients who we have how to read a loan estimate. So when a loan estimate is first given to you, it looks like a very intimidating document, right? So you're probably looking at it right in front of you or expecting it any second now. So when you read a loan estimate, it's broken down in a lot of different subcategories. So the first page will break down for you your loan amount, your interest rate, and what your proposed payment is, including your principal, your interest, and your estimated taxes, insurance, flood insurance if applicable, and so on and so forth. And then you also have on the bottom two, you'll have the total cash to close and the estimated cash to close subjected to if you had seller's credit or a deposit. The next page on the second page is gonna break down everything in detail as to where the money is all getting added up to reach that cash to close. The first section is going to include the bank's origination, commitment fee, underwriting fee, processing fee, however they word it, okay? Those are subjected to federal regulations that cannot change. And then the next subsection that you have is your credit report and your appraisal. Generally, your appraisal you pay for prior to closing because the appraiser wants to get paid regardless of whether you go through with the house or not. So that will be removed from the final closing CD. And then you also have after that, the next section, you have your title and your survey. Your title, the company's job is to make sure that they search through the property and there's absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. It's marketable, there's no judgments or liens. The top right, top portion that you have is the recording fees based on the local municipality and it's a rough estimate subject to change based on what they're charging at that moment. The next two sections, which is generally the most expensive, is your prepaid and next escrow basically like a piggy bank the bank holds on to in order to avoid if you were to be unable to pay, they can tap into it. If it exceeds a certain amount, every year you will get an annual escrow notice that goes back to you. If it exceeds over $50, they have to give it back to you. If you owe because your property tax and insurance went up, then you would have to be subjected to paying that back. And then you have your attorney's fee. And then in some instances, your realtor's fee. Generally, in a lot of cases, most of the times, seller compensates for the realtor for their fees and you don't have to that's pretty much it how to read the loan estimate if you guys have any questions you're looking at the document or anticipating please feel free more than welcome to call myself or any one of my team members we are more than happy to help you explain it to you and we'll take it from there thanks again guys and i look forward to helping you guys and finishing the transaction thank you